So when you see there's four photos, this is before the 1970s. Yes? Okay. So afterwards, when you want to do erosion control, you have to make the staircases. And then you plant the trees, and then it becomes a forest. Yeah. From Japan, when people ride the plane to come into Seoul, they would pass through this area. Since the Japanese occupation time, we tried it more than 50 times of erosion control in the occupation time, but we all failed. Because you know why? The accumulation of the soil that it is here, it is like the mud from the seaside. The mud became like a dirt and dried out. That's why, because of the soil, they had failed the erosion control. Then the soil still contains sodium inside, salt inside. So when the trees grow and then the roots go down, they meet the soil and it becomes yeah, dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They dry out, they die. So 1971, our president at that moment, his name was Park Jong-hee. He ordered the people, whatsoever, this area must be reforestated. So what we did was this. When we were making this kind of we make the stairs. It took us about two years. After making the stairs like this, we made a hole. In between one stair, we make a hole, like a, we, make, we dig a hole all around through it. Huh? And then what we do is we bring the different soil from different place. We carry them, we pour it in yeah. to the hole. So what they did was afterwards you put a new soil this much and then you plant the tree and then the women will carry the water in the bucket, give the water, and every single year we have to give fertilizer. So it took us about five years, uh, starting from 1973, and a lot of uh, civilians that which live in this area needed to come here and help us with this project. That is why we have this memorial park in this area. The reason is this area was the most difficult area, and we had succeeded so good. The plan. Yes, of reforestation. That is why we made this park. You don't want to. These are uh, different kinds of erosion control. So it is like this. For example, if the kids come here, they're like, oh, what is erosion control? I don't know. Then they can do this here, and then they can see what kind is a mountain, a hillside erosion control. What is coast erosion control? Okay. So this is for the little kids to be like, oh, what is here? This is like wind breaking, wind breaking, you know, like the wave breaking or so in the case of tsunami. The first erosion control that we ever done in our history is our King Gojo at the Joseon Dynasty. We had planted different kinds of trees to have a better view. But like a, a system of erosion control had started after the Japanese colonized time. After 1950, we started our programs of uh, uh, erosion control. So like this, at the year 50s and 60s, honestly, we made many mistakes, yes? And with our mistakes, we learned. And at the year 70s, now we have very highly advanced technology of erosion control. Number one, that photo is the mountain that we see at the back. And then number three is a mountain when we go outside towards our left side. At the 1970s, many places where we did the erosion control honestly was done at the year 70s. Actually, our Korean Forest Service was first established at 1967. And 1973. The Korean Forest Service became an independent organization or an institute so they can uh, start the erosion project or reforestation project. At 1955, we used to use 17% of all our trees as a fuel to cook and to warm up our houses. So what the government did was we had a new, new village movement that I told you inside the car, which is Sema uh, Undong in Korean. When we did the new village movement, but you will make your street uh, bigger so that the cars can go in. Then we provided different kind of fossil to cook and warm up the house. Uh -huh. So when you, in Korea, we use cow as a, like a machine to, yeah. Yeah, to, 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 to farming, yes? One cow will spend 5.5 tons of wood just for feeding the cow. 
you have to boil the soup for the cow. So instead of that, the government gave you a different idea. Okay, instead of cooking the meal to the cow, give him raw grass. Do you remember the new village, new village, new village movement? Yeah. This is project. So what we do now at the 1980s, you live in one area, you live in one area. So you are in charge of this, this area. You are going to, re you're going to do your best to do reforestation here. And then I give you a job for you and for your people in your village. This movement, this new village movement is, there is a song. Which means we all live well. We are looking for a well for everybody, not only me, but all the people. So it's like this. Now, in the year 90s, we are not only doing erosion control, but we are making a good view for the tourist. We are making it look at more, uh, have that it doesn't affect the ecosystem. And then it is a benefit to the people. And also, view. View um, that it has a nice view, so people can. So it is the landscape. Landscape restoration. Yes. Exactly. The primarily, it was land restoration. Uh, so it's like for the kids, how they do the erosion control. Like there will be a forest fire here, for example. There will be a forest fire, and then the kids will walk the path, and then uh, it's like they are working as the uh, as the workers to do the erosion control. Now soon, there will be a fire here. All the trees will be burned. And then when there is a rainbow, the, the, the soil will come in. You see the water color change. And then there is lots of, lots of soil rushed out. Now it will be made a dam to control, to control the soil falling down. Also to the right side and to the left side. And then we make another top layer of stones. And then afterwards, after the erosion control, now the trees grow. So when you see, when you do erosion control, you can see butterflies, the water can be clean. So we are teaching the kids. Biodiversity, exactly, ma'am. This is the map of the 1930s, and the green color is where we have the trees. These are all instruments that we used when we were doing the erosion control in, in, at that time. Now we have a uh, crane. We use a special plant that they are very strong in the droughts. These are the trees that we planted at this area. Pinus ligida, Pinus tumberii, oak trees. So it's like this, when there is a flood, people will go there, they will measure, they will calculate how many trees we need in this area. And then afterwards, when they make the plan, now we do the reforestation here, the erosion control. We make this part at the bottom so that the soils don't fall down. And then afterwards, it becomes a forest. You know, the total amount, volume of our mountain in our country is 65%. So we are in the world top four mountainous country. So what we are planning is economy where the forest becomes a source of natural wealth. In, in 2050. Nine, un, until 2050, yes. So depending on which kind of tree you plant, like oak tree and pine tree, it goes deep inside. So it is like soil control. Yeah. Ah, you see, these trees are the trees that we planted when we first started the erosion control. You know this? This water, in case the forest fire in this area at the back, are, are used. we are used, uh, there's a pump and then there is a like spring cooler there, big right. size. Yeah, yeah, it's sprinkler. <clears throat> He said when we conserve the mountain, we conserve the water, ah. then we have a better welfare for the people. Ah. So it is like this. For example, uh, this kind of chisan chisu, this word, this word you was was used since a long long time ago. But many uh, kingdoms also had failed of uh, taking care of the water and the mountains. This one became, this reforestation became successful because we also did the new village movement together. That is one of the reasons that we had succeeded. Our reforestation was succeeded because of the new village movement. That is the symbol of the new village movement. You see the head? 
Cooperation also is one of the key elements to succeed when you are taking care of the forest. Because at that time, Korea, everybody was poor. I was not the only one who was poor, but everybody was poor. So everybody was willing to have a better life. There are three elements, like oh, you have to help yourself, you have to help the others, and you have to be disciplined. That is the basic idea of a new village movement.